all learning process, you know. Cool. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> keep it. Sort of. Sort of throw my phone at the window. Here's to being home on day five. Let's, let's do it. Good morning, day five. Um, just getting up, like not very long ago at all. This is where I ended up um, staying last night. It was so hard to see uh, when I was pulling in here. Super, super windy today. On the eastern edge of Colorado here. I'll be in Kansas shortly. But yeah. Uh, one thing that was nice was I didn't hear any other vehicles, so I actually slept through the entire night. Uh, and that's the first time I've done that in like a week. It was, it was pretty great. But yeah, um, I'm going to get going here. There's a Conoco up the road. I'm not much of a coffee drinker, but I feel like some coffee today. So, we're going to go up there. We're going to get some water, some coffee. Um, fuel, I should be still pretty good to go on for a little bit longer. <laughs> Um, definitely use the bathroom. Made it successfully down the road. Two things. One, this has a 100-gallon, uh, it says it, a side-mounted side 100-gallon fuel tank use. But you can actually fuel it from both sides. So far, I have only filled it from the left side of the bus. Now, I tried filling it from the right side once, but it seemed like the other pump on the right side was off of the truck stop. Well, today, I'm at a pump where I can fill from the right side of the bus. <laughs> that may seem silly, probably is, but like I just I even want to make sure shit works, you know? Um, also, yesterday, I passed the milestone of driving over a uh, thousand miles in the bus so i, I probably about 1100 in total but yeah cool all right so this has that high delivery system nozzle look at me talking trucker lingo <laughs>
here at a rest stop somewhere in Kansas and uh, was just talking to a, a gentleman uh, named Tony. He hauls uh, campers and fifth wheels for people just across the country. Um, he's been doing it for a while and uh, you know, we were talking school bus and just travels and things like that. He mentioned a couple places that I just wanted to like take note of and have be able to refer back to it. Uh, one is Slab City out near San Diego. Uh, the way he described it was it's a hippy dippy community and like they don't have police or anything like that and they just kind of you know take care of themselves and do their thing and um, so that's a place to keep in the, the memory banks there. And another one was uh, Santa Rosa in uh, New Mexico where he says it's got this like a uh, uh, just a big hole it's like someone took a press and just pushed, and it, you know it has about 80 feet of water in it called the blue hole in Santa Rosa and then there's like a meteor site something out there and uh, yeah just wanted to put that in here okay about to head back on the road and have hundreds of miles left to go but taking it easy and enjoying a uh, great weather day it's it's overcast but a great breeze and you can hear the birds chirping which is really really nice too but I'll be home soon and that's it's really really um it's a struggle I haven't really talked about much uh during this journey especially when I got really like sleep deprived and um I got pretty emotional a few times just missing my family uh, this is the longest that uh, we've been apart since we've been a family, and um, that's been that's been rough. Um, I know it's been rough for me. It's been rough for them. Um, but we're we're almost there. We've got the bulk of this journey done, so we'll be there real real soon. Okay. I learned something new about fueling here. Again, I can fuel from both sides, and uh, most places they have the thing on both sides of your uh, both sides of your vehicle. Uh, one side is lit up. My pump 18 is lit up. This is the driver side. I go over here to the passenger side. Now I'm trying to fill from here, right? Also, pump 18 not lit up. I tried, nothing happens. Well, I just asked them, like, you know. What do I do? So apparently you have to first, um, on the driver's side, take it off the cradle, uh, take it off of here, the cradle. And you know, I put that in there. I can fuel a little bit up in there. Um, and then I can fuel from the other side. So uh, you can't activate the passenger side until you activate the driver's side, which would be with whatever's lit up there. So, cool. Okay, I filled up from the driver's side here, about 20 gallons, 65 bucks. That's just what the price is now. Um, and it starts to slow down, so I'm gonna go to the flip side, where they call the satellite side, and we're some fueling, in theory. And the theory holds true. We are fueling again. Yay. All right. I am at a Loves, which has a certified scale. We want to weigh the bus. I asked how the process works. You simply pull on it. There's a button you push. I've already pushed the button. Um, but I'm pulling on again here. Because apparently I did it wrong. All right, let's see here. 
parking. I'm gonna turn off the engine. Did that work? Maybe I need to get out again. Let's see here. All running process to do. The button. It's not exactly a button though, it doesn't push in. Did that way? Oh, first way. Uh, I don't have one, it's a private vehicle. Awesome, thank you. Okay, well that was relatively easy. Now you go inside and you talk to them. I don't know what they want to talk about, but we're gonna go. maybe they print it up. They print up like how much your bus weighs or your truck because let's be honest, like how many people are coming and waiting buses on this thing? Pushing the button to turn off the air brakes. I'm gonna pull into one of these spots up here and go talk to them. All these trucks, they all back in. Look at that, like professionals, huh? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna pull right in here. <laughs> all right, that's good. So, we'll talk and see what's what. Parking brake, bus is in neutral. Turn the key off. Remember the button, guys. Super important, push the button. The button. pushed should be good okay we did it we have the weight of the bus um, as the scales are mostly used for commercial trucking they'll ask you what your truck number is company blah 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 uh, we're driving a bus that we just own so um, just told them private the guy said they just use number one so um, we got the weight after you're on the scale you pull off you go inside you let them know you weighed your vehicle they give you a receipt and it shows you like it's a certified scale. We weigh in at 21,880 pounds. And knowing the weight of the bus is important because uh, per what uh, Brittany looked up for the titling process, having that done on the application helps in some way, shape or form. Um, what I know is in doing the research about special licensings for driving vehicles of this magnitude, uh, it's not passenger, so the fact that it's not passenger or like a, I'm hauling around like other human beings in some sort of a uh, commercialized fashion. Uh, not doing that, it's private use and vehicles under 26,000 pounds. And this is in most states. Uh, I don't know if all, but in most, if your vehicle is under 26,000 pounds, you do not need a uh, CDL or special license of any kind to drive it. So, cool, keep it, keep it, keep it, <laughs> keep it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm close enough to home, even though uh, she told me not to push through and just to take time. I'm hours away. I'm gonna push through. I miss my family. It's been it's been a long road. It's only it's been like less than a week, but just the thousands of miles and just being away from like your loved ones and stuff. It's I know I said it before. As long as we've been apart, I just I really miss them. I got to see him on Facetime briefly before their nap. And seeing like both their faces and stuff. We're almost there. Probably maybe like 150 miles or so, 60 miles an hour, like three hours. I've already been driving for, I don't know, whatever, how long today. Like seven hours probably, but it's worth it. I don't want to spend, I don't want to spend another night just, you know, in some, some like random place and not 
not be there when if I just do just a little bit more you know I can get there the bus is running great we're, we're fueled up like I feel you know I'm emotional right now but I feel like refreshed and, and ready so we're gonna do it I uh, I may tell them I may not I may want to do like a little surprise thing we'll see kind of how we feel they're laying down for a nap uh, right before I called them just now so here's here's to being home on day five let's, let's do it I wanted to let her know. 
what I see now. driveway like a freaking professional. Did I hit that fence? Hi! I know, I'm so loud. Bell crew! Montreal Bell, come to the same spot. Same spot, Bell. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, safe space. <laughs> you want to come back to daddy too? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Oh my I just wanted to point out this park job. I backed this in one try, avoided, oh, hi, lover. Well, one, I didn't hit <laughs> Brittany or our baby. So that's all we needed to do. But I avo avoided this big giant tree that's right over our driveway as well. Like just a few of the little branches. And that was the big thing. I did make some divots in the neighbor's yard, but that'll go away. But look at this. Like just lined up. Boom, first try. Didn't even have to like adjust or anything. Lined up. Now I did slightly hit our fence, but it's a double gate, so it just pushed it back a little bit. And like, nothing, nothing done. Woo! Okay, that's all. We're gonna go eat now. <laughs>